Welcome to the Vote Podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a brand new episode of the Vogue Podcast, in which I'll be re interviewing professional actor and voice actor Earl Alexander, whom you guys might know best as the voice of Lewis from Left 4 Dead. For more interviews and other fun content, make sure to hit the like button and, most importantly, subscribe. Well, Earl, how are you doing today? Man, you know, I'm, I'm I'm doing all right. I'm doing real good. See, you make me sound cooler than I actually am in the intro, but I'll I'll, I'll take that. You know, how can you, you say know? something like that? The fans, <laughs> the fans must be disappointed that you think of yourself like that. No, man, it's but it's 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 you know, I'm just a regular cat. You know, just like everybody <laughs> else, just doing my thing. Well, know? yeah, I suppose, yeah, but uh, it it's still um, you know. We still think you're cool, regardless. Okay, cool, cool. All right, right on. Thank you, man. <laughs> yeah, well, man, I'm out here in the Northwest, man, you know. I'm, I'm hanging out in Seattle for about maybe another year or two. Mm -hmm, yeah. And then I think I'm going to try to head up. I'm going to probably head up north for at least half the year up in Vancouver, Canada, because, you know, there's there's really no there's no film work or hardly any voice work left in, in Seattle at all. So I got to go to where the work is. I'm sorry I got to pull off this joke, but Canada, Francis, we're in Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you know, it's only a couple hours away, man, up, up here, but, you know. Well, I remember I, you mentioning in like a very, very old interview that you have um, dreams of moving to Japan. Oh, I'm, I'm at the end of the year. I'm gonna go down here for like two, three months. Yeah. Yeah, at the end of the year, and then when I come back, you know, I'm gonna try to head up there because you know I, I run a you know uh, a tour business now here in yes. Seattle. Actually, so it's eight years now. Oh wow. And yeah, and so probably because when I talked to you, was it? Just, was it was it, no the pandemic was over kinda I was probably just getting back going again yeah yeah uh, yeah 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 after that so you know the business has been taken off and uh, you know so I'm probably gonna hire about six people here in about the next couple months because the tourist season here in Seattle is about maybe six months six to seven months mm -hmm. you know I met I mean I just finished the tour uh, probably about mm, a little bit over an hour ago. Oh, but, uh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, and so, you know, it's, you know, I'm doing like two, three a week now, but end of next month, I'm going like seven days, you know. So I'm getting all that out the way so I can get back to to the work that I really want to do. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. you seem to be enjoying this touring stuff. Oh, yeah, I mean, because it's still, you know, you still get to, you know, it's, it's, it's I guess it's, it's kind of like a job, but it's the job I created. So it's on my terms. So it's yeah. a way more fun. It's a lot more fun than I think working for somebody else. And um, it's getting to the point. So either in two years, I'll either sell the business or I'm going to hire somebody to, to be me. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to be there. And yeah. so, you know, because as much as cool as the acting and the voice work and stuff is, you know, in, in reality, like in, in Seattle, I only know one person that kind of really much acts all the time, but he does a lot of theater. I don't know anybody personally that can just straight up make a living in this market as an actor or voice worker. Yeah, yeah. It's not, so you got to go where it is, you know, unless, you know, you got to, now there are some people you can get, you got to like the little vocal booth and you can do that, but you're doing like, you know, commercials or just any kind of stuff like that, just to make it. And then, you know, yeah, I want to do what I take. Yeah. yeah, but I want to do what I enjoy. And even I'm creating after this, I'm gonna start creating my own thing. And I got something up the pipeline that I can't mention yet. I might tell you a little bit later off camera, but it might even be left or dead uh, related. I got to work it out. And if it jumps off the way I, that I plan on it. I uh, might because because you're in okay where where are you right now? I'm in Slovakia in Europe. Okay, that's okay. And so, if it jumps off, and it, it's it's gonna be, if I can work it out, it might left if it's it's gonna be left 
for dead related. If I can get it, I will pay. I might even fly you out here to come do your podcast here in Seattle. Oh wow! It's gonna be it's gonna be that dope. Jesus. Well, I, yeah. um, I do remember that when we had our um, interview previously that you wanted to do something pretty cool left for dead related but also uh, uh, business related your tour business mm -hmm. something uh, combine the two maybe you know you would be cosplaying as lewis and you know you would act out as the character as you're touring you did mention something like that so i'm not sure yeah. if it's something related to that but I, it is something it is something related to that but i got to get all the you know i got to work it out yeah, of course. Of, of of the course. legalities and everything, and and uh, but yeah, it's going to be. It, it should be. It's, it's going to be off the chain. Well, that would be amazing because you know the fans are always very interested in hearing from you, and you're not you know that active on social media. So, uh, yeah. it, when they'll get to hear this in a few days, they'll be absolutely surprised and all over the top. Yeah. So it's you know because and if. It, it works out, you know. Zoe's gonna be working with me too, <laughs> you know. Oh, well, you know, Jen, Jen Taylor. Yeah, yeah. Jen Taylor. But, but yeah. So can so I, I'm gonna take my head off in the middle. But I'm just I was just pimping my my business. Can you see it? See Seattle's best tours on the on the hat on the yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it was I changed the name the last time I was interviewing. I mean, you interviewed me. It was a uh, it was a uh, Puget Sound tours yes so yes, that's yes. <laughs> so that's the name of the region who i am they call it oh, the greater puget sound area but uh nobody knows what the hell puget sound is except for the people <laughs> that live here and yeah. so they were like oh is this puget sound because it's spelled <laughs> like p-u-g-e-t yeah and so i i i was like oh see i was best tours is available so you know mm. i'm gonna take that name <laughs> and i think uh since I talked to you, that was, yeah, yeah, because like uh, I got a, you know, the company got a really, I got an award. Uh, so TripAdvisor, I mean, everybody knows what TripAdvisor is, I'm assuming. Yeah, y'all got TripAdvisor. And so like, if you go there to buy a ticket, like they're, the other company, it goes through Viator. That's where you buy the ticket. And mm -hmm. so they rank me in 2022 to 2023. I got ranked one of the top 20 uh, experiences in the United States, oh, you know, wow. like, yeah, and so that brought me up quite a bit, and uh, I was ranked like number one on TripAdvisor out of like 290 tours. Wow. Now I'm ranked like number two or three. I don't like the pressure. Of number one, it's too much. That's really, that's really great, Earl. That's really yeah. nice. So, so I'm getting the money out the way. Mm -hmm. So then I can, you know, make my own content, you know, and I'm still going to try to work for you know others but i definitely want to do my own yeah yeah so, yeah pursue your man. dream by all means yeah. of course do you ever meet any left for dead fans on these tours no oh, today i had the lady i was on the, she called her son you know on the you know i had like only like eight people they were from the east coast and like boston i'm about as far away from boston as you can get and still be in the united states so they're way over here i'm like way over here and um i was just mentioning to them certain things and then they start asking like hey well what, what have you done and you know i'm mentioning stuff that i think they would know just you know some of the company stuff and things that i've done uh, you know because amazon microsoft all these companies are here i've worked for all these guys but they're like industrial videos or yeah. voice work yeah and so then i mentioned well if you you know look look at me online you know probably one of the more popular things was the left for dead and then i didn't know she was texting her son her son's like 27 and then he's like oh yeah i played that game yeah i played it well you know so yeah i do meet you know once i don't always say anything you know that i'm an actor when i'm doing the tour but sometimes i do. yeah ah you know well you know um Lewis is actually one of the most liked characters out there in the whole franchise because of, mm -hmm. I mean, you really just, um, you can like the character, you know, you can often relate to him. And yeah. um, um, all a lot of people say, and I think so as well, that you've made the character sound very um, natural and realistic, mm -hmm. you know, like it, it doesn't really sound um as if it was acted out it sounds like it's the thing it's the real thing right oh well thank you that's a that's see that's a cool compliment i appreciate that 
yeah, yeah. Well, you really did an amazing job. You know, not only like the the brutal stuff, but also just the normal conversational parts, which were really just believable. And yeah. some, and yeah. I, I think Lewis likes dad jokes, honestly. <laughs> yeah, which is a trip because I think I kind of, Earl, I, I suck at dad jokes. I try to use them on the bus and they, you know, sometimes <laughs> they work, but I don't have any kids. So I tell them, I'm sorry, y'all, I ain't got no kids, so I'm good at it. You know, and so actually what last year when it got the got the snip, wow, the vasectomy. So I ain't having kids, man. You know, it's a little I mean, I'm I'm 58 years old, man. So what I'm gonna do with a kid, you know, Jesus, at this point, 58. Yeah, man, I just turned I just turned 58 in November. You look so, 30. Yeah, man. It's <laughs> well, you know what they say, man, black don't crack, you know, but it but it does stretch. <laughs> but uh you know, I try to live clean, man. I try to live okay. Of course. You know, I, you know, you I know, try to keep. Yeah. Go ahead. No, like um, people can really tell that you know you you're really living uh, a good life because you just look well and you keep yourself well, and that's all that matters. Yeah. You know, I, I do drink my little bourbon every now and then, and you know, I'm up here in the Pacific Northwest, so you know, we were we were one of the we were the second uh, city in the United States that legalize cannabis. So long as you don't overdo it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so because I'm two hours from the Canadian border. And so in Canada, you know, weed is legal in the whole country over there. So I think in the United States, there's probably about mm, maybe 18, 19 states now where it's legal in there. They're I think they're trying to they're gonna they're trying to do it um across the country. So I think probably about in the year or two would it probably be that way because there's so much money in the game. But other than that, those are the those are the only two propensities that I might indulge in every now and again. And that's about it. Never thought I'd hear these words come out of Lewis's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the new Lewis is like <laughs> and you know, because we, we got the, the storyline, you know, they were heading off on the on to the to the island or somewhere. They never yeah, you know, said yeah. what they were, so they rolled up. You know, they yeah. probably rolled up on the island where they got some natural greens. Yeah, probably. And, yeah, and Lewis is like, "Whoa, Zoe, check this out." <laughs> <laughs> At least something positive. <laughs> yeah. Francis is still there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I I still was thinking of doing this interview with you, you know, Vince and Jen, but I mean, Jen is just super busy, so I have not been able to kind of get that together. Yeah. Well, you know, she don't really do this kind of stuff that often. You know, I think yeah. she's more, you know, every now and again, if they, you know, if, you know, I think she'll get out, but for the most part, you know, she's kind of like chilled, laid back, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's understandable. But I mean, you know, it's also that if I'm going to get together some of the actors for like a reunion, it might as be, well, you know, most of you like the, the main cast. Yeah. So she'll be like, she'll be with the project that I'm working on. She's going to be on board. That's going to be great. That's yeah. going to be great, Earl. Yeah. And so, yeah, that's when I'm like, when you jump off, man, you're going to have to come down here and do your podcast on the, you know, on uh, through that event. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're going to be, you're gonna, I'm going to give you the premier, premier access. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so. Well, I mean, you know, I, 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 I would like to say that you can count on me. What, whatever it takes to, you know, promote this, whatever i mean i'm gonna I'm be balling by then so i mean like you know right now i'm only a multi-thousandaire but by the in the, in the by the two years year and a half or two probably in the next year is when is what i'm shooting for so about in a year and a half mm -hmm. <clears throat> i'll be like ronald which airline would you like to fly on i'm gonna get you over here <laughs> you know yeah. it's, you, you probably still be coach but you know hey man come on you, you've been to the states yet no, never. Okay, come on, then. Okay, you got it. You see, you get you got me right here live. You're hearing me say it. So when wow. it jumps off, you know, you, you can hold me to it. You got witnesses. <laughs> we sure do. Are you still with your partner? I mean, working with your partner? The, um, I forget his name. Uh, he oh. was Vincent, but uh, Vince, he okay. is currently busy with, uh, busy with other stuff. So no, uh, at the moment, no. Got it. Cool. Y'all both balling because you, 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 you doing voice work and everything as well too. 
Yeah, sometimes, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know, yeah. like you, you yourself said, you know, there's a less and less work every day. Yeah, you know, but, you know, that's why I want, that's as soon as I get the rest of the money out the way, because then you can create your own content, you know, because yeah. these days with the tech, the technology is, is there, you know, and, you know, yeah. the advent of YouTube, you know, put together your own projects. And uh, so that's that's the only reason I'm busting my ass in in, in the business is to yeah. uh, to do that because it it'll probably be about a total of ten years. By the so if I do another a little bit over a year and a half, it'd be two, ten years. But it would have put me in a position where it's like, okay, cool. Now I can, you know, do what I want. Yeah, that's you know? right. And I mean, I I think that you can also see that um, Lewis is a character that could help you. Uh, become, oh man yeah you know, you know cause that was such a huge game you know Left for Dead and Lewis could really help you make your own stuff and kind of help with promotion you know I mean yeah. Lewis is just yeah amazing and, and especially since they're not Valve them they're not doing anymore yeah you yeah, know? yeah I don't know what happened with them that they just said man I'm out or well yeah, you know cause... It's it's hard to say because now they're also working on some hardware stuff like virtual mm -hmm. reality stuff, so I'm mm -hmm. not sure what's behind it. But I mean, yeah. oh yeah, that's right because they were they were actually working on it. Like, man, they've been working on that for multiple years because I actually had to go in there. This was like, man, how long ago? Damn, no, this was oh my god, it was a while ago. Because I went over there and they were showing the behind the scenes. They were working on, you know, the, the you know, the headgear and, you yeah. know, now, yeah. So I don't know what the tech is going to be like now because they probably have the stuff like you integrated. You go into a room because just a few blocks from here, because I'm two blocks from Amazon corporate office. Amazon is like with this, all the like they got like 60,000 employees like right down the street from me, like two and a half blocks. And so this one place just opened up and it's like a like a VR like facility, you know, where you can actually put on the gear and you go in there and it's like you're in a different where, world, you yeah. know. I was but like, that is oh my pretty God. cool though, yeah. <clears throat> so man, I think, I don't know, people might spend more time in that realm than, than, <laughs> than this <laughs> one. But uh, yeah. Well, you know, so, probably that that realm is probably nicer to look at than this life that we live in, unfortunately. Right. So, you know, I'm just trying to bring a little, a little love back to the world, you oh, know. Yeah. So, and so, man, it's 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 gonna. It's just was taking a little, taking longer than I anticipated, you know. Well, mm -hmm. you know, especially when you start a business, they say, you know, your your money really doesn't start kicking in till like that fifth year, and then I was it was kicking in. Boom, and then COVID came. I was like, oh no, you know, but you know, now that that's over, you know, and I mean, there's still a little bit lingering, but here in the States, man, you know, people like, yeah, whatever. Some, think, some think, parts of the state are looking up, yeah, they're looking, yeah, they're looking up. Like some states didn't, don't, didn't even care about it too much, but I lived in one where it was like really locked down. You couldn't work, they wouldn't even, it's my business. <clears throat> But but I couldn't work for over a year because of the, the law. Let's head on to the next question. Um, well, we were talking about uh, in the previous interview, we were talking about how Lewis's uh, design and character changed over time, you know, from this gritty bearded guy to this uh, office guy. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'm curious about uh, which Lewis do you prefer? Well, the other guy was just, uh, I don't think he would have been as relatable mm -hmm. if he was basically like a black Francis, if you saw the picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he looked like. Um, but he only he only lasted through the audition process uh, because, yeah, I think I might even mention that when I auditioned, I had used a different voice for that guy. I was doing a voice based on what his appearance looked like. And then, yeah. you know, they had, had me and a few more people come back and do it again. And but they had it like, well, he didn't look like that anymore. I was like, oh. And so <laughs> and then, and then that, that was about it. But but he looked like he actually 
I think in the boat he had like a cigar. Yeah. Like like a hunting vest on. He had like a, you know, his hair was like curly, like a little kind of a fade. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. just like I could be in the wilderness and like I can I can hunt down a wild boar, you know, with a with a butter knife. That's what he looked like. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. <clears throat> so he I don't think he would have been nearly as relatable it, had they kept him that way. But you see, but, uh, back then, uh, all of the cast members looked uh, so, um, I would say, prepared for the apocalypse. Uh, the way they look now, they oh, look like, it, you yeah. know, it all kind of came, you know, out of nowhere, the apocalypse. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Lewis still has his red tie on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. So, but it's going to be, because that was what, so that move, that, that game came out in 2008. So that yeah. was like, what, 16 years ago, something like that. Dang. Was it? Yeah. So, because it's what 2024. So, since we hadn't seen him that long, he's you know he's probably gotten a little old. He looked like he was about maybe Lewis was about thirty, or something like that during that, during that. He was either late late twenties or like maybe thirty years old is what I always when I look at him. So now he's probably about forty six. Yeah, you know, I guess so or, or in that age, and so be perfect now because I'm about that look. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's but, kind yeah. of funny that you look like lewis as well you know that's because i don't have any hair you know well i got a little <laughs> stubble i got i just got stubble but now. you see your face yeah. also kind of resembles him yeah yeah and so yeah if i if my nose was a little pointier then we'd be there but yeah I'm a, you know it, but you're 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 right with um what i was talking about as far as what i'm want to do with them but it, it it's evolved a little bit and so um but i don't want to say too much now because i got to make sure i can get all the approval yeah you know? of course of course yeah of course. <laughs> but at worst case scenario if i can't pull that off the way i want then it, it you know it will still be the same concept it just won't be the characters but i think i can do the characters it'll let us yeah let's hope let's hope that that yeah. can happen yeah especially if they're not doing it anymore you know you know, better let them live on than just die in the shelf. Titanium Man has a question for you. Um, what was <laughs> your uh, most memorable moment from voicing Lewis? <clears throat> let me see. Well, you mean like, I wonder, does he mean like the, when, during the actual recording session? Yeah, or... yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, oh, I think that was was finding out what was going on in the, in the scenario, in the, in the game. I mean, like, in the what what kind of world is this? Because you know they didn't when they bring you in they don't they don't tell you anything really when you auditioning they just they don't want to give away the secret yeah so they just they're real vague about what it is so when you get when I got there I still didn't then they start trying to give you a little bit more information but I was like okay I'm still not a hundred percent sure what's going on. So when I say if I was reading a line or two, like, wait, what's happening? And so then the more <clears throat> we talked about it, then the more I started getting engrossed into the world. Of, oh, now I get it. So <clears throat> this is once I really got a grasp of what they were talking about, then I was able to lean in and do it on, on the voice work. Because then it's like, OK, now I know what's going on. I can, can get out. And so just having the, the, the discussion with the guys in the booth, was was probably the overall part was was probably it, it was intellectually but it was still fun and um like that the part when we're like i'm actually interacting with the boomer or zombie or, and i'm trying to kill him and, sh and all that kind of stuff but we had to save that to the end i asked him to save a little bit to the end so i still have a voice yeah 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 because yeah, that was a four the, the first time it was a, like a four hour session you know just going through all this dialogue Jesus. you know and i mean because basically it just came out with a stack of pages Pow! and you just had to say the lines three different ways three to four different ways and you know sometimes i would say it the way i they gave me leeway to say some of it the way i wanted to say it which is probably why you said sometimes it sounds natural yeah because they hadn't really heard the lines being spoken by an actor until I was doing it. So, you know, it can look a certain way on the page, but if you say it, mm, 
And then, you know, it might sound a little different. So they were changing. They probably changed about 10% of the lines during that recording session. Mm. Yeah, because once they heard them, they was like, oh, hmm. Okay, that didn't, okay. Then they say, hey, anywhere on here, when you're reading the lines, if you want to say it a different way, feel free. Mm -hmm. well, so they did. The voice yeah. of Francis, Vince, he did say that a lot of times he was like exhausted from those sessions. Like it was. Yeah, yeah. it's because it's, it's hard to keep their energy up. For, for four hours, is, I think is kind of long. That's a long time just to yeah. keep going through dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. But because, but you know, they're renting a studio, so not, <clears throat> I think it might be a little different if they they had their own studio. So <clears throat> they're they're renting that space, so they don't want to. I mean, it's crazy; they don't want to go over time, and so they're trying to ding ding. Let's just knock it out, you know. But that was a while ago, so now I'd imagine hopefully they you know they get their own. Yeah, probably. You know, or if some certain places. Hell, as much money as some of the games make you think they'd have their own little stoop, little, little place. But, you know, at the time, you don't know if it's going to work or not when they're making it. You know, they're just hoping, oh, it's good. So yeah. they, they got a budget, so they're trying to keep it tight. Yes, of course. You yeah. know what? Uh, I'm really curious, and I, I want to hear your opinion on this. Will there ever be a Left for Earl 2? <laughs> oh, wow. I don't, you know. I have to talk to Michelle about that, you know, because the uh, first first version was amazing. Uh, I'd have to see, because I know even she's like uh, the director and the writer. She's um, you know, she had to get like a more of a traditional gig, you know, too, because uh, you know, it's just it's just that the, the industry, you know, trying to really live, live. Mm -hmm. You know, that's probably even the people you see in movies, man, even or you may be somebody on real popular games, whatever. They still get hustles and jobs or side gigs or they're doing other stuff or that. That's why, like the, the other voice actors you, you just mentioned doing those other little projects because they're trying to get any any uh, form of, of revenue possible, yeah. you know, in art. So it's just not, I mean, how, how often do companies make games they're like it takes you know years to develop yeah you know yeah, yeah. and then but you really do need to live in that area where they're ma making those 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 games because when i i went to i was in austin doing a uh like a little convention and i was like one of the panel guests and they were like hey man if you come down here you know we'll give you some work but they do a lot more like anime like anime type stuff yeah. They do all the stuff from Japan, but over there they convert them to studios with the English actors. But you know, I thought about it, but I was like, ah, I can't go to Austin just for that. You know, it but would be so do... cool to hear you in a, in an anime. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but up north, but I probably at the end of this year, I'm gonna you know look and get my agent up north, and uh, but I'm gonna go kick it in in Japan for a couple months, and come. But when I come back, I'm definitely because it's only couple hours up the road and so i'll have people definitely working with me so i don't have to be in the business all the time so if i got a gig yeah. boom i can go yeah. do my gig just like and that, that. Yeah. yeah well that 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 was the main reason i started the business is for the for the uh, for the flexibility so mm -hmm. like even when you go you know you go to a conference or something and you see the actors up there you know they still they still hustling on the side. They just a lot of people just don't won't talk about it because they trying to make themselves seem so cool. Like oh, oh yeah, yeah. So I'm like nah man, because you know <laughs> I know a lot of these cats. I know you hustling on the side, you know. <laughs> Especially in a city like Seattle, it's expensive as hell, you know, to live here, you know. Because uh, <clears throat> Microsoft, we got like Microsoft over here, Microsoft, T-Mobile, Boeing, Amazon. You know, all these these big major companies are like right down here. So the cost of living over the last, I would say, 10, 15 years skyrocketed, you know, up, up here. Even though it is, even though it's like right now inside the window, it's great. Six months out the year, but other six months is beautiful. But because we don't have a lot of land, so water everywhere. The, like the average house, the average house in Seattle was like 815 grand. It was 915 grand and it dropped down and some. 
but that's still a lot of money. The average rent is like 2100 I think it might have dropped down a little bit to about 2000 yeah. you know, for a basic one. But that's the average. So some people paying like 4G for an apartment, but probably down to about maybe 1500 mm -hmm. you know. So if you want to be in this region, you know, you got to have a couple of nickels, you know, to to do it. But um, yeah, and so that's why that's the hustle. But then, <clears throat> but then after that, I don't, I can do what I want. Hey, you got a project? Yep, boom, I'll be there. Boom, just jump on, you know, just drive up there or whatever. Or even if I have to live here. A few months, I mean, certain months out the year, maybe I'll go, you know, I can I physically live in Vancouver for a few months. But after I go to Japan for two months, I, that's just something I got to check out to see if I'm really liking it enough to yeah. like maybe kick it over there for a little while. But, you know, I want to. Good luck with wanna, that. Yeah. yeah. But, I, you know, I want to, but I want to get back to my, to the arts, man, like on a more full time basis, Yeah, you know. We have a special guest on the line. His name is Lewis. Hey. Hey. What's up, y'all? How's it going? <laughs> How do you know who I am? How'd you find me? You are a celebrity in the world. Do you know that? Really? I am? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Oh, awesome. Hey, y'all. Can people see me? Yeah, people can see you, and did you know, or, well, I hope you can tell us something about this, but some people have heard you appear in this um, George game, where you voiced a cook, cooking bakery guy, Curious George, does, does it ring a bell? Oh, you know, now that you mention it, I think it kind of does. Good to see you, George. A helper in the kitchen is just what I need today to bake a special surprise. You know, I was at the IT office before that apocalypse stuff broke out. And somebody said, hey, Louis, you seem like you got a, a good voice for a video game to help kids with count with Curious George. And I'm like, why not? Because I'm always down for the kids. So I forgot I did that. Yes, that's right. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you take your pills, Lewis? I take them every day. Pills here. And you know, I'm starting to get older because that was 16 years ago since I was in there. So I got to take pills sometime. You know what I mean? Just you... to say vibrant. Ding! -ding! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Matter of fact, I need to go get my pills now. I'll be right back. Hold on. Grabbing pills. See? Pills here. Don't oh, wait a minute. See, I got the, the pills for 55 and over. GNC supplements. I hope they give me some money for this. Those are the kind of pills I take right now. Hopefully, I don't have to take any more of them, them life-saving pills. But with the way the world is going now, who knows? True, true. Are there still any zombies around the area you're at? Sometime. If you, if you have to be real quiet at night, it's not too many of them. So the ones that you still see now, they're not that strong. So you could just walk up with a big rock. Because I don't have any more bullets. I'm talking too loud. Wait. I hear an ambulance. That must be where you are, right? Or is that where I'm at? Oh, that's here. <laughs> <laughs> I broke character. I'm sorry. I was like, that sounds that sounds right here. Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, but I'm I'm still Lewis. Yeah, you are Lewis. I mean, who else could you be? Right? <laughs> uh, Nobody but me. Yes, that's right. Uh, Lewis, um, have you made it to that island that you've been dreaming of? You know, I did. I got there, but it wasn't sustainable. You know, I don't I'm not a farmer, I'm an IT specialist. I don't know how to grow food. And you know, neither did Zoe. So we stayed there for a while and then we just got on a raft and took off. Then I ended up at this land. Just wasn't that many people here. There's a few of us, 
it's kind of like, um, but people are in their own camps, you know, so it's just me, Zoe, and, 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 and well, Francis, he's over there, you know, we don't let him hang with us too often, though. He's, he's a little different. That makes sense, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, at the end of the day, you did find yourself a pretty nice apartment. I do need to say that. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it, well, I ain't got to pay rent, you know, because it's not occupied here. So I found the field generator, and it works. And so I'm just living here until the world becomes a little bit more populated. But I am working on my computer te technological advances again. So, you know... There is something I'm I'm working on called AI. Most people haven't heard about it because it's only a few of us. But what if it's up to me, you'll hear about it very soon. Oh wow. You know what? Well, I know I know a thing or two about an AI too. And that AI can replicate your voice and people can make anything with your voice. What do you what? think of that? Wait a minute. Are you saying this technology already exists? Indeed. I had no idea. Well, I'm wasting my time working on, like, wait a minute, did you say replicate my voice? Yes, it can clone your voice and they can make you say whatever they want to make you say. What? Well, but if I stop talking, they can't clone me, right? Well, as unfortunate as it is, there are so many recordings of you on the internet. It's impossible oh, to no. make it stop. Oh, no. Well, how do I get paid? Well, I lied when I said I don't have bullets. Where are these people at? I'm going to go get my gat and track them down. <laughs> let, me, let me see. We call Zoe. Get her online. We're going to go do... We're going to have to put our old battle gear on and go back and get paid. You, you have hmm. never heard of it? A little bit. A little bit. Um, but I thought I, I was inventing it, but you just told me about it. But I, I never thought about it as somebody capitalizing on my voice monetarily without giving me something. It's so, crazy, uh, right? It's crazy. It's real crazy. What year is this? 20, because it was the last time I really talked to a lot of humans, it was 2008. Well, yeah, I mean, you've been kind of uh, cut off from the from the world for quite a while, especially since this apocalypse has been going on over there. Oh. But it's okay. 2024. What? I forget. 2024? Huh. Zoe! She's on the other side over there. She can't hear me. Hmm. Oh. I, I must tell you, your shirt is whiter than ever. Even after 16 years, it's still nice and white and clean. Well, this, this is... I took this off with somebody. Okay. He couldn't wear it no more because it wasn't going to do him any good because his legs was gone. So I, I imagine he ran into a boomer, so I just took his shirt. You see, I understand that at the start of the apocalypse, you were um, in the office and, you, you know, you had the, this uh, outfit on. But uh, that's all I wear is I had when I worked at IT, I had seven shirts and seven red ties. That was my that's all I would wear. I didn't have to think about it. I would uh -huh. just do it like, what's the guy, uh, Zuckerberg, uh, Zuckerberg, he just wears t-shirts and uh, you know who I'm talking about? He started some big, huge company. I remember it was getting real big when the apocalypse broke out. And so I thought if he only wears one, sh one type of shirt, then that's the less I got to think about. So I just wore a white shirt and a red tie every day. You see, that makes perfect sense. But people would think that, you know, 16 years after the apocalypse, you would, you know, get a bit like cooler with the, <laughs> all sorts of uh, leather jackets and whatnot, you know, a cigar in your mouth. Oh, well, you know, I, I can work on it. Grab and peels. How about this? Am I cool now? You're pretty cool, <laughs> Louis. Just, just make sure you don't choke on that thing. <laughs> Man, people are gonna look at this and be like, Earl's stupid, he's a geek. Now you're just like a smoker. Oh, oh, oh damn it. Hold on. I gotta get my glasses. I'm sorry. 
I did mention I was 58. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there it is. <laughs> I can see a lot better. That's stupid, but I can see it. Mister, if one of us gets killed out here, I'm going to shoot my way in there and beat you to death with my gun. That's funny, Francis. Why don't you take your mustache and your little vest and your chaps and find yourself a parade? Get it off me. Get it off me. She came dang, 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 dang. I said, yeah. That's some country ass bullshit. When all this is over, you think they'll call us heroes? We are saving humanity, right? I mean, a, a very small four person chunk of it, but still. Huh, I don't remember that line. Let me say it again. Look, when all this is over, you think they'll call us heroes? I mean, we are saving humanity, right? I mean, a very small four person chunk of it, but, but still, smile when it hurts the most. Look, that's my philosophy. Man, I feel like I'm Gordon Freeman. Who the hell is Gordon Freeman? Oh, man, I feel like I'm Gordon Freeman. Oh, the Half-Life. I think I did one of those that got kicked to the curb. Um, I had a nice house before this. A 401k? Damn it. I had a really nice 401k. Hey, guys. Look, remember I said, don't come after me? Look, I was kidding. Can somebody come get me? Hell no. <laughs> That's stupid. All right. Let's... Oh, hey, Francis. I got a good feeling about wearing your skin as a pretty dress. Oh, damn. <laughs> did he really say that? He did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, Francis. I got a good feeling about wearing your skin as a pretty dress. <laughs> your spit. Oh, your spits. Okay, I got the spits. Look, your spits are worse than Sniper's Gerate. Sniper's Gerate. What's the Sniper Gerate? Explain that again. Is that a name or something, or is that a... uh Well, um, in Team Fortress 2, the sniper had a weapon, which was a jar with his piss, and they called it the Gerati. <laughs> the Gerati. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, count, okay, got it, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Count, okay, count, let me do it one more time. Kind of like Doom. Um, Yo spit are worse than Sniper's Gerate. And, uh... Lastly, Earl Lewis. Do you think Lewis would have anything to say about the Vogue podcast? The Vogue podcast? Vogue podcast? Oh, I heard about the Vogue podcast. The Vogue podcast is the best, most awesome podcast on the planet. I haven't seen the whole planet, but I think it's the best. Lewis said so. <laughs>